Alright people, welcome back to Daily Duels. So, uh, I decided to go ahead and take off Shadals. I'm just not a big fan of the deck, and I know it's kind of like, Oh, well, Daily Duels, you gotta use the top deck. I mean, Shadals have kind of been falling off lately. I mean, it kind of sucks that I'm not using the deck until they get up to, the, you know, like, the Water Fusion, but um, just kind of sick of it. I mean, I will be discussing the Water Fusion this upcoming Tuesday on Card Review. But besides that, I'm just kind of bored of Shadals. Like, the deck isn't my cup of tea. I'm just... You know, there's not a lot of decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! where I just blatantly just disdain, and Shadals is just one of them. I don't like playing the deck. I don't like playing against the deck. I don't like the card art. I don't like how aggressive it is. It's just, I don't like this deck, you know? I don't like how defenseless it is, and it's just not my cup of tea. So, you know, instead of just subjecting myself with having to use the deck that I blatantly just dislike and just talk about how I dislike it every Friday, I decided, you know what, take this deck off. It's been fun, you know, it's been on Vitamin Y, it's been on Daily Duels, but I'm just kind of just tired of shit all. So I'm going to actually be replacing it with Volcanics. You know, Volcanics remind me of kind of like a classic one-up deck, so we're going to go ahead and see how that works. So you get two Daily Duels today, you get deck profile this in the first episode of Volcanics for Friday. So I'm going to go ahead and do the deck profile of this deck. So I'm going to be doing the deck profile of the Shadal deck. Um, pretty much the basics of it with my own personal opinions of things so i'm gonna be discussing my choices and uh yeah that'll be it for shadal so starting it off i ran triple dragon some decks run two the decks are i prefer three not only do i prefer three for that go ahead and uh you know, be able to target a monster and return it to hand, so if my power, if I run into problem cards, you know, like, you know, Necros, you know, with the whole release arc, I can just go ahead and pounce it back to the hand with a uh, dragon. But also, uh, you know, the back row destruction is nice too, so, triple dragon, triple beast, beast allows you to draw, like, beast is probably one of the cards you run the most. You know, just being able to go ahead and pitch it, and then you draw a card, you get your card back, for your fusion, you go ahead and uh, plus. So Beast is uh, pretty good as well. Uh, I was first, I was only running one of them because I was like, oh, well, you could just draw them with Falco, but no, you're sending Beast for that cert. I mean, for that draw. That's what you run Beast for. Uh, two Hedgehogs. Um, I wanted to run more than two, but, you know, other things needed to be ran, so I decided to go ahead and run two. Uh, so that's why I play. If you want to run three, it's fine. You know, since a guy around, you get a search, and if it's flip, you get to add a, you know, a spell, should all spell a trap, so you get to go ahead and add that uh, should all fusion to your hand, which may be helpful. Uh, triple Squamata, Squamata for the monster destruction, the flip effect. You know, triple Squamata and triple dragon, just to make sure that if I run into any kind of wall or something, I can go ahead and set those guys and they can handle the situation for me. But also Squamata, because you can go ahead and, you know, get that additional sun for that, uh, pretty much that construct play. Uh, two Faco. Faco's good, but it's not as important. It's kind of a slow card, so you only run, uh, you don't really need to run maybe one or two. So, Faco. Triple Mathematician, Mathematician, go ahead and give me that send, it's destroyed my battle, I get to draw a card, and he's an earth for Shikinaga. I don't go in Shikinaga often, but he's it's nice to have there. Of course, triple Dekoseka, Dekoseka, lock down that back row, because that's what you need to do, this deck is aggressive. You summon Dekoseka, lock down the back row, Shadal Fusion, summon, summon the Dark Arm, and just go in. So, uh, Dekoseka to lock down the back row, be a less for the banish, also because it's... You know, there's Dark and Lights in this deck. Dark Armed, I'm not a big fan of Dark Arm. I don't like Dark Arm, but this deck runs Dark Arm, so I was just like, alright. I mean, this deck sets up Dark Arm, for goodness sake. So, there you go, Dark Arm. Uh, triple Light Dragon Wyvern, you banish a uh, Dark Monster. So, you know, there's a lot more Dark Monsters than Light, so you banish a Dark Monster, summon this. Then when it's uh, removed, when it's sent to the graveyard, you can add the Black Dragon. So, and then the Black Dragon, you light, so specifically you're going to be removing Eclipse Wyvern. So the pretty much the combo is, uh, you play Shadal Fusion, in which you are going to summon Construct by sending Quips Wyvern and Squamata. So Construct will uh, send you an additional one and Squamata, so that's three. Then you, the Quips Wyvern will banish you the Dark Arm. You go ahead and banish the Quips Wyvern to summon uh, this Black Dragon back, which will, of course, get you Dark Arm. You have exactly three. Summon Dark Arm. Yeah, Quips Wyvern is stupid. No, it's another another deck, tier one-ish deck that Quips Wyvern is in. Just just for just for Dark Arm. It's ridiculous. Uh, one for lease for the Black, uh, for mostly the Black Rose play. But, uh, you know, she's also another uh, light, so you can send that instead of sending your Deco Seconds if you already set your Eclipse Wyvern, so you don't want to send your White Dragon Wyvern Buster, so you can send Felice if, you know, she's too dead, and if she's in your hand, you better fuse with her, because she ain't doing much else. So lots of monsters, lots of monsters.
27 to be exact. Just, I don't know. And I took I took some tips from decks, Shadal decks that were topping at the current time that this deck was made. And, uh, you know, my own personal uh, things that I was like, you know what, I'd rather have it like this instead of like this. I wasn't, ne I was net decking, but I wasn't net decking, you know. I, I did make my changes and I didn't feel like, oh, well, this deck tops, so let me go ahead and copy it. So, uh, you know, lots of monsters, 27 monsters. So, onto spells, I run triple Shadal Fusion, of course, triple El Shadal Fusion, that's a given, you know. That this deck has a problem with its fusions. You need high consistency with your fusions. You need to make sure that you fuse uh, as much as you can as possible. And if you don't open up with your fusions, then you're not doing as well. So you need to make sure that um, you need, you fuse it up. Uh, I did try out next shell fusion, but that card is not good at all. You know, there's too many places where your opponent can respond. You know, you activate Shadow Fusion, your opponent's got that vanities or something. No, all right. On well, next shell, you got a normal summon, equip your opponent to respond, call the type. Then, you know, fuse with it, and it, uh, the card is just too slow, you know. It's too slow, and it's really not worth the, the effort to fuse with, um, fusion like Gristall or something like that, you know. It's much easier just to, you know, just stick with what the deck does and not run Nuptial Fusion. Um, I ran one Snatch still, because this card is stupid, bro. Regeki, just to, you know, clear field so I can push her game. Uh, alert to speed up the deck, foolish to get more set up, get set up just like mathematician. And I decided to tech in the upstart goblins. Uh, you know, I saw some decks running core, I saw some decks running, you know, Sinister Shadow game, uh, but I decided to try out the more aggressive deck that was topping, and I was like, you know what, this deck needs upstarts. Uh, you need to, be, it doesn't matter if you give your opponent, the, you know, the extra thousand life points, you're probably going to take it all anyway, but you need to get to your fusions as quick as possible, so by playing upstart, you're able to go ahead and draw X card, the next card may be that fusion, so, you know, it's, it allows you to play a 37 card deck instead of 40 in that retrospect. So, uh, extra deck, triple construct, that's a given, uh, triple window to go ahead and push for the game with El Shadal Fusion. So you go, like, attack, attack, El, Sh El Shadal Fusion, summon window for an extra 2200. That's why you run two, I mean, three instead of two. Uh, one Shikinaga, you don't go into her that often, but when sh you do, she's there. Um, then my Xyz, Exiton, Castell, 101, you don't go into these guys that often, but when you do, they're here, so that's the reason why I ran them. Synchros, Black Rose, I said I go with him and Felice, but you can do it at other times as well. Uh, Arcanite Magician, that's probably the main seven that you're going to. Uh, Yazi, because he can't be targeted, 26 beater. Uh, Goyo, because sometimes you can sink into six. And then Armadies, because sometimes you can sink into five. Simple as that. So, I know this is a quick deck profile, but, you know, I'm, you know, even doing the deck profile Shadal is just like, eh, alright, Shadal's. And, you know, I'm just not impressed by this deck, and I don't like it, and that's why it's been taken off, you know. So maybe I'll have some more fun with Volcanics, and maybe that'll be more of my cup of tea since it's a control deck. But uh, an aggressive deck like Shadows, and I don't like how they look, the card art, they look bland, they all look like the same color, and it's really just not that pretty. And, you know, Shadow Fusion's a stupid card, it just punishes you for using the basic game mechanic of Xing and Synchroing and accessing the extra deck, yet that's what Konami wants to, you to do, and it's, I just don't like Shadows, you know, and, you know, Shadows fell off the face of the meta and, you know, weren't even a deck anymore, I would not complain, because I just do not care about this deck, you know, I wanted to have it on here because it was, you know, one of the top four decks of the meta, and I was just like, oh, well, it's gotta be on Daily Duels, because, you know, it's part of the meta. And then I ended up not even liking it. So, yep. So, uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the time that Shadows were on Daily Duels. Um, thank you guys for supporting the episodes that, you know, Shadows were. And all the episodes and me and my channel in general. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to uh, some Volcanics I'm going to be trying. Uh, I did look up various decks of Volcanics and I'm going to be trying my own variant and you know seeing just how the deck is ran you know seeing how this is this may be you know oh tier 1.5 deck you know just with the addition of one card so anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile so thanks for watching thanks for all the support and i will see you guys with volcanics all right guys thanks for watching